to review one of my favorite supplements and it is creatine. A specific form of creatine that I use is creatine monohydrate. Um, I believe it's the most effective and it is definitely the cheapest form of creatine you can purchase. Uh, the specific brand that I use is Bear Performance Nutrition. As you can see. Uh, their supplement line has a lot of pre-workouts, post-workouts, um, proteins. They actually just came out with a plant-based protein as well. I'll add the link in the bottom if you want to check that out. So I'm going to start with a little background about creatine itself. Uh, creatine is a naturally occurring non-protein amino acid that is primarily found in red meats and in seafoods. Uh, the majority of creatine is found in our skeletal muscles uh, with small amounts found in the brain and the testicles. Uh, the human body itself primarily needs 1-3 to three grams per day to maintain normal levels. One of the big questions that I'm asked about creatine is how is it utilized in the body when working out? So in short, uh, when we lift weights we use ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate, which is the main energy source for our muscles. So creatine improves strength gains by enabling a faster regeneration of the ATP, which in turn allows us to lift those extra reps at the end of our sets. 1,001. 1,002. Uh, Mr. Burgundy. 1,003. Helen said that you needed to oh. see me. Oh, Miss Corning, so I wasn't expecting company. So a second question I'm usually asked is what to take creatine with and when. So in a few studies that I've have read, uh, there is a slight benefit to taking creatine post-workout while stacking it with 47 grams of carbohydrates and 50 grams of protein. The study has shown to create greater creatine retention within the muscles. So a third question I'm always asked is what's the recommended creatine dose? So they say larger athletes should supplement with 5 to 10 grams per day. Um, and on average, a normal person should supplement with three to five grams of creatine per day. So in one of the case studies that I read about incorporating the loading phase while supplementing with creatine, said that <clears throat> say somebody supplemented for five to seven days with 20 grams of creatine, and then after the seventh day, they supplemented with just three to five grams of creatine they would experience the same benefits as somebody that just supplemented with three to five grams of creatine, but that took those people 28 days to feel the full benefits. So according to this case study, by adding a loading phase for five to seven days, you'll be able to experience the full benefits of creatine a lot sooner than somebody just supplementing with a steady three to five grams of creatine over a 28 day period. In my personal opinion, um, I've never done a loading phase. I've usually just supplemented with 10 grams of creatine per day. So with this 10 grams of creatine per day, I would usually do five grams of creatine pre-workout, five grams of creatine post-workout. So as you can see, over a longer period of time, the benefits of creatine are greater. So this isn't just really like a, a couple day supplement. It's one of those supplements that you wanna take consistently every day in order to um, fulfill the full benefits of creatine. Here are some other benefits while supplementing with creatine. So now you're probably wondering, is there side effects to supplementing with creatine? And yes there is. So a few side effects that I've come across while reviewing case studies is one being weight gain. So creatine supplements can increase water retention in your muscles, which is called cell volumization, uh, which also can increase muscle mass over time. So in my personal opinion, I don't see that as a negative effect. Even if, even if your goal is to lose weight, I still recommend supplementing with creatine. So in turn, just by supplementing with creatine, you're going to be uh, putting out more energy, which in turn you're going to be burning more calories. So in the long run, you will lose weight faster by supplementing with creatine. Also, in my personal experience, um, I've only seen a fluctuation in my body weight of two to three pounds of water weight. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be on the hop on the scale one day, be 190 pounds, and then a week later be like 210 pounds. The weight gain is not that significant. So 
So a second effect that I've come across is that in a case study that I read, which was only one case study, said that by supplementing with creatine, it will increase this hormone called DHT, which DHT is known for hair loss. So if you're prone to losing hair or if it's in your genetics, like say your dad's bald or balding or your grandpa's bald, that was just one case that I've come across. Also remember that these are rugby players. I don't know if you've watched rugby or not, but these players are massive. So in my personal opinion, I don't believe these players are just supplementing with creatine itself. Or maybe they are, I don't know, maybe they're just genetic freaks, but it could be a result of other supplements or hormones they're taking as well. So in conclusion, this is a safe supplement to take in my personal opinion. It's been in over 2,000 case studies about the types of benefits that it provides um, and there has been no reports of any adverse side effects of supplementing with creatine in healthy individuals. So lastly, the last thing I'm going to suggest is that I recommend um, taking in a lot of water if you're supplementing with creatine because your your muscles are going to be retaining a lot more water to increase cell volumization. Um, you're going to be expending a lot more energy throughout your workouts and throughout your day because of this increase of energy as well, So, which will lead to water loss along the way. Try to take in at least one to one and a half gallons of water per day. Also, with this increase in hydration, it'll um, also allow for creatine to be utilized throughout the body a lot more efficiently. So, stay hydrated. It's clean. It's cold. And that's what I call high quality A2O. Cool. All right, so I know I didn't really get too in depth on how um, creatine helps with. Uh, neurodegenerative diseases but if you all want me to I could create another video getting a little more in depth on how creatine helps these diseases so if that's something you're interested in just leave a comment below to let me know and I will start working on that project next but with that being said that is the conclusion of my video uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give me the thumbs up button. It is right there, I believe. Yeah, so click that thumbs up button. Please hit subscribe. By doing these things, you help promote my channel to other people, larger audiences. It would be greatly appreciated if y'all could do that for me. Um, with that being said, I will see y'all on the next one. Underneath the surface of your skin